Hey guys, how's it going? So today is going to be a little bit different video for Farthest Frontier. Instead of gameplay or looking at stuff in the game, we're going to be taking a look at a few layouts that the community have come up with that I thought were kind of neat and might give you some ideas for your layouts for your towns. We'll take a look at the layouts uh, and I'll kind of critique them to an extent. I mean, everyone has a different layout, but you know, we'll talk about some different things about the layouts that you might want to change or think about to make some adjustments to them that might fit your play style better. So with that, let's get in there and let's take a look at a few different layouts for Farthest Frontier. So this first one's a bit more of a cheat one. And this is not from the community. I actually found this one online. Uh, I found this, I think it was on Tech Raptor. I, I found this on, but it's still a really simple, easy layout right here. It's modular. Uh, if you know me from Anno 1800, you know that I like modular layouts. And this is a very good modular layout for your residential areas. Uh, it has... 32 homes, I believe it was about 30. Yeah, 32 homes over here, which is not bad. 32 homes. It will get you up to manners as well. It will get you up to the highest level uh, because there are spaces for decorations in these green spaces right here and here. And then in the middle, you can get your market, school, healer's house, more decorations. Only thing you cannot fit in there is a theater can't really fit a theater in there but you can get everything else within that uh this little like pinkish salmony color area in the middle now the theater not being in the middle is not a big deal because we can put the theater in the middle of like maybe two or three four clusters of these and spread the desirability around from there now the theater does have a maximum number of houses it can supply so you might need more than one theater but it still will work i honestly with for a layout like this would not put the theater in the middle anyways i would put it somewhere on the outside and have multiple theaters but for just a basic block this right here is really really good now, the only thing about this block that I think you could cut out is a lot of these roads. And this is something I talked about in a tips video recently, is that you don't need many roads in this game. This has a lot of roads. What I would do is I would have these bounding roads on the outside, most likely, but then I would remove all of these roads inside here and replace them with just more decorations or plazas or something. Maybe just do plazas. Uh, do note that a house can only benefit from a decoration one time. So having lots of plazas isn't going to give you a huge boost in uh, desirability, but it would look really pretty. And it would give a little bit of a boost to uh, each of these houses from a plaza, or you could put garden trails, or just whatever you want to do. So I would remove a lot of these roads in the middle, and you could squeeze the houses in a little bit more. Uh, I think, let's see... You could squeeze another house in here if you took out this road and took out one row of ornaments and you could squeeze another house in there if you wanted. So you could do that or just add more ornaments all the way around as well. And you should still have more than enough desirability to get yourself up to uh, the manor level at tier four. So this is a good, simple little modular layout. I like it. It's clean. It's easy. I've used this many times and I definitely recommend trying this one out. Now, next up, we have a layout from our very own Veruca Cat, one of my longtime viewers and channel supporters uh, over on Discord. And this is a full settlement layout. This includes all the things. This is all the things. This is not just a this is not just one. This is everything included. So you've got a good number of homes right here. Everything you need in a nice big uh, square in the middle. And then over here, you've got your industrial areas, all of your really nasty, dirty stuff that causes a lot of the uh, penalties to desirability are down here out of the way. And you've kind of got a little commercial area right here separating the industrial from the residential he's got some 10 by 10 farms put in here and then he's got his little blueberry farm he loves his blueberries he's got some blueberry farms and then root cellars preservists foragers to harvest all those blueberries although i would use the laborers and make and just mouse over that and just have them auto harvest every year and everything else in here. It's a good, simple little layout. Everything out here in black is for more farms or, you know, grazing area for your cattle if you don't want them on the farms themselves. So you can kind of go how you want. And then just surround the whole thing with a big old wall. 
and put some towers around it if you're playing on difficulties that require that level of defense. So this is a really good all-inclusive layout. Very, very nice. Lots of space for lots of decorations around here. Again, the roads, you could condense a lot of these roads down, get rid of all these roads in between the houses up here, uh, get rid of some of these roads, a lot of this stuff right here, and just have it go uh, more decorations. Just more decorations. Uh, maybe keep you know some of these main long roads going through here. Like this one I might keep, this one I might keep. Some of these I would keep, especially in the industrial area, uh, just so your wagon has a nice high traffic or high speed traffic area to move around, to get in and out of the city, to go and pick up goods from, uh, like uh, mining camps and work camps and all that kind of stuff. But you could get rid of a considerable number of these roads if you wanted to and just replace them with more decorations or an even prettier city. So good work, Veruca. I really like this one. It's a very nice, simple layout. It'll get you. Uh, it'll get you all the way to tier four, and take care of everything you need. Now, this layout right here is pretty cool. This is from Tactical Fried Rice over on the Farthest Frontier Discord. As you can see, it is a very large and expansive uh, quad layout of housing with a theater in the center. Uh, parks, lots of houses, and he has everything nicely labeled as, as to exactly what it is and color coded over here. I really like this layout. It gets a lot of stuff crammed into a very uh, good tight space right there. And well, this right here is a money making machine. You can probably, you'll probably be making a lot of money from all of this right here, from all these houses. He has everything centered around the market to get as much bang for your buck. Not too many roads. Uh, again, you could probably take some of these roads out, condense them around, but overall, not a lot of roads and a lot of space for some nice decoration around the theater. I really like this. I like the way these are set up right here and how the markets and stuff go, especially with how the theater works, because you want your theater kind of centralized near your houses, but not in the middle of your houses. So a quad layout like this with the theater in the middle leaves a lot of room for just beautification. And even though this is a game that is really does lend itself to efficiency building because you're trying to squeeze as much as you can into a small space because of travel times, stuff like this works so well and the game looks pretty no matter what you do. So this is a great simple little layout right here. I like it. It's definitely one that you have to pre-plan for and make sure you have a lot of open space for something like this to do. Uh, but really good, nice layout right here from Tactical Fried Rice. Good job, man. I like it. I hope to see it in some videos pretty soon. The last uh, layout that I have for you guys is from Pink Lichy or Liche. Probably mispronouncing that, uh, but... This is a, another, it's a very similar layout to the one from Tactical Fried Rice. You're going to start seeing a lot of similarities in layouts from people as time goes on because of just how well some stuff meshes. You're going to see a lot of them that have squares in the middle because of how desirability uh, spreads out from the central building and then how, how many tiles it can reach. So a lot of layouts as this game develops and as people start developing more and more layouts, you're going to see a lot of similarities like this. So again, a nice square in the middle or a rectangle more or less in the center right here uh, with the theater in the middle, lots of parks and shrines everywhere. Now this one does include showing you where the walls, gates, and all of those kind of stuff go. Now this is not a an all-inclusive like uh, Veruca's was. Your industry and stuff are all off to the sides, but you can see that he has a double-walled area over here with a town center, storehouse, trading post, and the vault as well as a well and some towers everywhere. So this is a really good one for uh, playing on Trailblazer or above difficulties, because you are going to have a fairly secure area. If you're playing on Vanquisher, you may even pull the wall down right here and do a double layer wall with the towers and stuff behind it, just to give the enemies something else that they may have to chop through if they don't all go for your double walled town center up here. Now, what I like about this one especially is the lack of roads. You can see that there aren't many roads and the houses are off in the middle sometimes with no roads around them. And this works perfectly fine because of the way the game handles roads since they are not necessary. So 
a lot fewer roads, mostly just some main avenues connecting uh, the gatehouses and the major parts of town. So I like this one, especially for that reason. Uh, fewer roads are better. So this right here definitely gets bonus points for not taking up a lot of unnecessary space with roads. So good job on that one right there, Pink. I really, really like this layout. I think I may incorporate a layout very similar to this in my next playthrough uh, because I just, I just love how it looks and how it comes together. It's a very, very tightly compact, simple layout that will get you everything you need. The only thing about this layout I would say I would do differently is possibly uh, have at least two uh, level two theaters. Uh, it would, I believe it's going to take two level twos, maybe three level th two theaters. Ooh, I had to go back and like count all of it up again, but one theater would not be enough to cover all of this with entertainment. You'll need at least two, possibly three. So the only thing on this I would change is I would come right here right here between these two shrines. Take out those four houses and put this theater park set up here and do another one right here. And then right here, you can either just add more houses back in or just make a nice big central square right there. Either one of those solutions right there would work. And as long as those theaters are at tier two, you would be able to get a, should be able to get a full coverage on that. Again, my math might be a little off on that. If it is, then hey, go ahead and just, you can come over here in between and just add a couple more theaters, maybe one right here and one right here and have four theaters and most definitely be covered on all of your theater coverage. So another awesome layout, probably one of my favorites right here, just because of how compact and simple it is uh, with the lack of roads. So I'm definitely a big fan of this layout right here. So with that, guys, that is it from me. Do you have any layouts? What is your favorite layout? Let me know down below. If you have a layout that you have come up with and you have a, uh, a nice little pretty Excel sheet or something like that, uh, I think we are actually working on a design tool for the wiki where you can go in and plan your own layouts. So that may be coming in the future. If it's not already out and, you know, by the time you're watching this video, who knows how long from now, it may already be a thing. Uh, but we are working on some stuff like that for the wiki. So yeah, let me know about your layouts. If you have one to share, be sure to join my Discord server. The link is down below in the description, and I would love to hear your thoughts on the layouts for the game. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care.